All right, recording has started. <coughs> Pardon me. I have a slight cough today. Don't know why. So if I'm coughing, I'm sorry. I don't know what it's from. I'm very tired, so it could just be because I'm fucking tired. But, you know. All right, I wanted to see something. Ah. Uh, I wonder if I should just level this up. Let's see. Hey, potato. How are you doing, man? How is the potato? Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna level this up. Just once. Just just to get it going a little bit more. And let's see if we can uh, have her learn any more skills because of that. <sighs> the potato is good. Nice. Eh. She doesn't really need to learn those. Alright. Oh, she can level. Oh, boy. Too bad she can't learn to edit it. How is Madzel? Madzel is tired. But other than that, I'm good. I'm just extremely tired today. Alright, let's get going. Let's. Alright, so. We need to make our way down there. Oh, we have to go. Oh, we have to go over there. Tired because I didn't sleep much, basically. I was up pretty late last night and probably only got like four or five hours of sleep. So, you know, that happens. All right, let's make our way. Question is, how late is late? Uh, 5 a.m.? Was up to 3 a.m. playing CSGO. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, there's a chest down there. I should go get it. Oh, we're walking. What's this happening? This is as far as I can accompany you. From here, I must head back to Rusulia. Fucking really? If Sanjaro were attacked, I'm glad I didn't upgrade you. Well. What would you do if it were Stahl? I, I guess I see your point. I'm glad I didn't upgrade you at all. Thank you. Fuck you. Coming with us as far as you did. We should stream a game called Pongo. I said some rather harsh things. Is it on Steam? <laughs> Let's see. Water under the bridge. I trust that you will keep everyone else safe. Pongo. Of course I will. All right. Let's let's look this up real quick. Pongo. Search member out Victor. Well, fuck him anyway. Okay. All right. Let's let's take a let's look up Pongo. Pongo. Uh, a 3D action platform that combines a pogo stick with <laughs> stick jumps with strategic FPS combat. Grab your Pongo, a tool usable in either a pogo stick or a gun, and traverse the vast island of Flubber. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Do you play any survival games? Uh, sometimes. I haven't really been into a survival game lately, but I have been known to uh, to play survival games. Let's go get this chest over here. I'm glad I didn't upgrade him now. Fuck him. For leaving. Miss the old modded Minecraft days. You know. That might be coming back soon. Just to let you know. Let's see. Oh there's weapons here too. Oh. But. 
Oh yeah, that's right. We don't want that. Um, crest robe. If you play Minecraft, I'll seriously watch every stream. I love when you play Minecraft. Yeah, I was uh, the chickens that shit would. The only thing is that it, um, there there would be a few modded ones that I would test out. I don't know if I would do Sky Factory Four. She let subs join. Yeah, that would, that would be fun. Um, I don't know if I would do Sky Factory Four. I don't know if I would do Pixelmon. Or like real life uh, Minecraft, I would host a 24-7 server. <laughs> How much better is this compared to... So it's only plus 5 and plus 10. Oh, that's right. I didn't buy that because that wasn't a big of an upgrade. Right. I was going to wait until the next upgrade for them. That's why I didn't buy that. All right. All right, well then, uh, let's get move on. I haven't decided which modded one I'd play next. I wonder if I should take the track and go all the way around that to see if there's any treasure or anything. I probably will, to be honest. Can't believe Victor just leaves like that. Fuck him. I know he probably becomes a permanent party member at some point, but still. That was a piece of cake. Oh, roll level. Nice. I know, Victor. I mean, I know he wants to protect his homeland and everything, but... Alright, so we're going to have to come back this way anyway, so let's not worry about that right now. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of shit over here. Fuck! Okay. Get wrecked, doofus. I should make that an alert. Not that way, doofus. I should make that an alert. I don't know if you've heard my new follower alert, but uh, I played Dragon's Dogma a little bit ago, and there was a funny scene in there, <laughs> and I turned that into my follower. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait, is that Kirito? Looks kind of looks like him. Oh, no. This is that douchebag, ain't it? Yeah. It's that douchebag. So about time you showed up I'd be much more excited if it had been a lady waiting for us I don't think I need to tell you why I'm here you damned worms we're not giving you really a... do I have to explain to you idiots again that it's pointless to resist the half lip with the potty mouth is making another empty threat I'm so scared you waste a Federation space you'll pay for that remark Stu needs to die force me wipe these filthy chimps out Hey, what's going on up there, Vorsni? Vorsni! Vorsni here. Three Federation ships have entered this sector. They have their shields enabled and are preparing to engage. We cannot offer any support at the moment. Ha! Wait, what was that? I have bad news, sir. Fuck you. We detected transport signals emanating from the enemy starship. Impossible. How the tables have turned. Nice. You damned cheaters! It's getting intense. You violated protocol first? Oh, that's right. You. You unbearable little... Belia belongs to us. Give her up. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Come here, man. Yeah. Wow, uh, you have a lot of health. Uh, are you gonna heal? What do you mean? I don't answer to you. Fuck off. Don't attack Miki, okay? She's our healer. We only have one healer right now. Nice. 
Nice. Oh no. Um. There we go. Give her a little bit of a heal. Damn. Uh, she's down. Uh, there we go. I'm glad I bought a couple of those. We don't have a revive yet, so. Oh my God, you're dead again. Holy shit. All right. Oh my God, he's so strong. All right, we're using it. Holy shit. How is this even possible? That was awesome. Freaking believable. Please don't swear in this Christian Twitch channel or I will have you banned. Oh, oh shit. Mickey, no. Uh-oh. She has other powers, too? That's freaking marvelous! Oh, no! My healer! Why my healer? You fuck! I will kill you. Are you si- Mmm. I hope we kill them. Mickey. Mickey. Rip Mickey, whoever that is. It's our best friend and healer. Why, why do they always get, have the healer get hurt? This injury is not just external. This is a sad moment for everyone. Yeah. Viscera too, I think. Take her to your ship. The youth. Fuck off, man. Boss, Mickey's hurt. Madzell, I see them tears. Critical condition. She's got tachycardia. There's more. Hypotension has set in as well. Nah, and shit. And all of us here, she's the only one who can heal the harmed. There's no such equipment or cadre that'd allow her to come back. You can't aid her at all. That's just. You're saying we wait until she dies? What are you thinking? Bring her to the ship. I suggest that we all transport. In order to rescue Miki, the goal's equipment is integral. CPR. I don't think that works on a gunshot. Especially a laser shot. It's breaking the UP3. Article 1 to start. Is that like MP3? Emerson to the Charles D. Goal. Do you read? Yes, sir. What's the issue? I need you to send the nine of us. To your location now. At nine, sir. That many? Wait a second. That had breached the unique situation. Do it. Aye, aye, sir. Starting transport now. Are you questioning the captain? All right, we're finally in a ship. I was wondering how long it was going to take. Take her by stretcher to sick bay. <sighs> Miki. To sick bay. All right. What is this? Oh, it's a, this is a chest. Oh, that's fucking cool. We're right back. All right, man. Please Can't come save right it. Away. Uh. Yeah, we can take a look at the. Uh, no, uh, mm. Sorry, I gotta do a little bit of shopping. Miki, you'll be fine. I know you were. Looks like an emergency. Fuck. Okay, I guess I can't. All right. 
Deck 12. Sick bay. Wow, this is a big ship. I think this is probably one of the bigger ships in the Star Ocean series. I'll take it from here. We're counting on you. Let me in. Will Miki be all right? She's undergoing treatment now. Let's zoom in on this. She's still breathing. That's a good sign. How's Miki? Her vital signs have stabilized, so she'll be fine. She'll be back to her old self in a few days. <laughs> Thanks so much. And to the bridge. Miki's condition has now stabilized. That is great news. Now you can invite everyone else up here. All right. Understood, Emerson. You can call me Captain now. But Emerson's not half bad. How can I make such a mistake? I'm terribly sorry. Well, you've been calling him Emerson for a while. I'll be up here. All right. I'll take you there. Why is it always the healer they gotta fuck with? Why can't it be somebody else? The bridge. Well then. So the I have to fix this controller. Maybe I'll do it later. Anything we are allowed to. I'll go first. What is this place? It's rather difficult to explain, but. We often refer to it as a ship. A ship? Hmm. Who knew there were such advanced civilizations outside the Vestilian continent? You're not from Hadamal, then, are you? No, we're not. But how do I put this? We Different come from planet? A place that none of you've ever heard of. Hmm. I see. Discoveries truly do await us around every corner. Maybe he was right when he told me that field work is of the utmost import. I really have to fix this controller. Indeed. Your civilization is so much more advanced than ours in Santorol. I'm kind of shocked, but I have to say it's also an honor to be the only one at the Institute to experience this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our humble Charles D. Gold. It can't be. Is this a map? Smart, stylish, and intuitive. You are a triple threat. This was our location before we were transported here. This is a big ship. And this is the Trekur region. We think this is where Little Miss Starlight came from. Where I came from? Of all the areas within the continent's arid region from which the snowy Aheeds are visible. Want to a closer I'd look? I'd say it's most probable that she's from this one. There's no electromagnetic response from anywhere in it, though. The facility could very well be cloaked. I suppose. If that's true, then we've no choice but to investigate it ourselves. And me All too. right. You can trust that our medical technology will safely revive her. All right, I will. So we're really not going to have her Delacroix for a while. Prepare to transfer. Aye, aye. And take us to the transport room. No, I want to go shopping first. And we're off. I want to go shopping first. There was a bunch of stores there. Oh, man. The transporter <laughs> on deck two. You've gotten better at making the right decision, I see. You call violating the UP3 the right decision? Sometimes the rules are worth breaking. Goddamn controller. I still don't fully comprehend why. But somehow, I knew that was the only choice I could make. Your understanding of it needn't be complete. As long as you know what it means to hold people's lives in your hands. Please follow me. No, I want to go shopping. What do you have?
Hey, you have wheat flour. Hell yeah. Uh, how many do I need? How many do I need? That is a question. Uh, how many of these do I have? I have three. I need to make two more. So I need two wheat flour. Okay. I don't know when we'll be back, but... Uh, at least I'll have this quest ready for when I uh, get back then. Hell yeah. Two more. It's ready. Hell yeah. So we should have that quest ready. Yeah. We, and then we got to find Ruddle when we get back. Oh. That's right. I wasn't able to do this. I wasn't able to get back there. That's another reason why I wanted to go back is the hand and these quests. Uh, okay. Well, at least we got that part done. Take a look at the equipment. Ceramic sword. I mean, ceramic's not very strong. Just saying. So my attack would only go up by 10. I don't think that's fucking worth it. Ooh, that would be worth it for her, though. Who uses a... Oh, he could use a micro blaster? Oh, fuck. Looks like I'll be spending some money here. Uh, I don't really need to... I mean, maybe I should just to have the sword. Why not? Fuck it. I'll buy it. Oh, uh, I'll get this. I'll buy this just so we have it. Actually, no, because I might get something better before then. Who knows? Yeah, micro blaster. sec um yeah I definitely should get this upgrade for them for sure um the right gear Don't really know if it's uh I guess it would be worth it. So let's just go ahead and get it. No, I didn't want to equip. Wait, what the hell? There it is. Why wouldn't it let me choose? It usually lets me choose. I guess I'll put it on the other one as well because she she got her ass kicked before. There we go. So we got everything for everybody except for Miki, but Miki's not here. We have to wait until she's back in our party before we can even decide. Oh, this sucks that we don't have her. I just used all my money too, very much.
I wonder if this would be a good time to... I can't... I mean, I could put... I could put these on her just... So she could... Still learn them. Level them up. Because she can't use anything. Yeah, she she can't use anything right now. Crescent Lotus. Ooh. Red Rain. Hmm. I only have one of those. Oh. She has healing now. All right, well, that's good. Um, at least we got somebody else that has healing. Shadow needles. Um. She's an invoker. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the, the healer one off and put it on her just so she can have better stuff. I wonder if I can make her learn that stuff now. No. That's just because she leveled up. Alright. So she will eventually also be able to have really good heals as well. Alright. Go ahead and save it since I switched all that. I'll just have to remember that when we get Miki back to put all that stuff back on her Cause that's gonna be needed. Hey, this is the room we started out in. Everyone, please step onto this platform. Beat me up, Scotty. Begin transport. Yes, sir. Well, at least she can somewhat heal now. That would be good. We're in... Is this the place we saw on that map of yours earlier? Certainly looks like Traker to me. The coordinates match, so this is indeed the same place as on the map. But the real issue here is whether or not it has any relation to Relia. Let's hope it does. My god, there's save points everywhere. That's for our sake as well as hers. I don't want to inspect every grain of sand in this desert only to come up empty handed. So, what are we looking for? It's difficult to explain, but please inform us if anything about this vicinity seems off to you. <laughs> well, I guess we'll do what we can. I'll help, too. Alright, let me go. There's a chest here, and I want it. Come on, let me go. Communicator. Using the communicator enables you to return to Charles D. Gold from there. You can instantly travel. Oh, fuck yeah. Fast travel. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How do I do it, though? It didn't tell me how to do that. Do I just need to use the communicator? Uh, I guess I just use the communicator. Oh, fuck yeah. Finally, fast travel. Well, I kind of want to explore everything and see what kind of shit I could get. I wonder... Um I don't know why I went all the way that way, but. I wonder if there's some of these things that I should max out now. I'll just I'll just keep the, the points for now. It's very dark here. Show me what you 
At least the enemies are a little bit weaker here because we don't have a full party anymore. At least they're pretty considerate about that. Roll up. Good. I'm glad I put some rolls on her just to, just to get that. I guess I'll just walk around, search everywhere. Oh. Explain seems off. Yeah. For example, if you can touch something where it looks like there's nothing. So think of it like an invisible wall? Exactly. I'm not sure I know what I'm looking for, but I'll do my best. I don't know if we're going the right way because of that. I mean, I, I have a feeling that it's got to be that part on the map down there. Where it can I can go right. That's got to be it, but I just want to search everywhere. Uh, okay. I wish I could zoom even more on the minimap, but I don't see anything on the minimap, so let's just go this way. I hate the sounds that these things make. I really do. More challenges lie ahead. Ah. Now it's raining. Ah, stupid controller. Oh, is there? Well, this looks like something. Could this be what? Hey, Anne! Holy shit! There is actually an invisible wall here. There's no doubting that this is it. Yes. You're the best, Fidel. Holy you shit! I want the right way. Neutralize its cloaking effect. I want to go fishing first. Damn. It looks like the facility itself is buried underground. And this is the entrance to the place. I'll unlock it. I want to go fishing. It won't let me. Really? Oh, wow. After little Miss Starlight. Damn it. I guess I should have gone fishing first. Oh, well. So tired. Ugh. 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 Fuck. Okay. Well, I can't leave, but at least I can save. Really, I, I can't do that. You're gonna make us worry if you go off on your own. I can't believe I went the right way. I used to live here. Jackpot. Okay, one of the rooms in this facility should be hers. Can I save first? I can't help but think this resembles the institute. Apparently not. It's not gonna let me. Could it be? Could it be what? No, it's nothing worth mentioning. Give me the chest. Micro circuit. All right. Well, let's let's go save it now. Now that we have full control, yet again. Probably should have saved in a different slot there, just in case there was like a boss here that is really hard. But whatever. Too late now. This is just a door that doesn't go anywhere. That's probably going to open up a shortcut later. It looks like it will. Ooh. 
Ooh, two chests. Yeah, I really have to fix the controller because this is it's getting worse. I have to I have to open it up and clean it. I really do. Ooh, a bomb. Wait, not gonna tell me what I got out of the other one? Alright, fine. Probably something over there. Nothing in here? There's enemies. I'll fight them. I hope after this, like, little thing, like, she gets the ability to do stuff as well. Because it'd be nice if she could do other things than to just be there. This is, looks like a warp drive. Why would you know that for an underground base? I have no idea. I love how these chests look. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Oh, there, yep, there's chests. Alright. Yeah, the, the, the whole like joystick being like all fucked up. Really starting to be annoying putting it off as long as possible, but I really gotta fix it now. Swordsman manual. Nothing in here. Alright. Odd place for a chest, but you know, that's okay. Oh, I really thought there was gonna be an enemy in here. Healing device. Yeah, we're almost there. We'll fight all the enemies just so we can, like... Still level up and whatnot. I just wish that Miki was here, but... Hopefully this will unlock her abilities. Considering that this is supposed to be like where she lives and everything. Open it. Thank you. Reinforced gunpowder. Oh. That's a good question. Maybe? No. We shouldn't jump to conclusions before we even start to look around. Uh, well, let me look around. Yeah, evidence against him continues to emerge from the woodwork. But I say we prioritize really first. As you wish. All right. Yeah, you. Oh, hello. I think it's funny for like these defense cubes to just roll at us. They don't like zap us or anything like that. It's just, they just roll at us. I just really think that's funny. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Now, I, I should look, I just thought of something. I wonder if abilities have 
like efficiency and if you use them enough times they also level up themselves they oh no yeah they do they have they have mastery so if you just continue to use them they will level up themselves so it seems like maybe because if I yeah, because if I were to use it on the Death Palm, it would only give me 20 mastery because... Oh, I see. So the more you use it... I don't think I level up Double Slash. That's pretty cool. Shotgun Blast, though. Unleash a light... Hmm, interesting. I saved it. Uh, Alright. Whoa. This is a... This is a children's playroom. My toys. My sister. Did something come back to you, Relia? What's this about a sister? This is... An observation room. And judging by the toys, I'd say one used to specifically monitor children. You think? Maybe we can data mine the system at the console. That trampoline works. is dangerous. Let me try. I wonder... Why isn't there a single person? Wait a second. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. It's a trap. Yep. Get ready. We got company. Knew it. Get out. Keep really safe. You got it. This can't be the only one. And look into that while you're extracting data. I'm gonna have to, I guess, also heal along with this because. Alright, uh, we need to. Oh my god, this is this su this sucks. A revive. Oh, did I kill the other thing with that? That would be amazing. Alright, let's go ahead and revive. We're gonna have to buy some more fresh sage. I'm just gonna use this to finish it off. Nice. Captain, you find anything? I didn't want to use it, but I had to. The building's gonna detonate after a silent countdown. So they can dispose of both the evidence and the opposition. I want the chest though. Their encryption's top notch, so disarming the system will take time. The data? I retrieved it. But there's not much time left until the detonation. Uh, the security robots must be here to ensure we don't get out in time. Charles D. Gole, this is Emerson. I want the chest. They're jamming our signal. I want the chest. I guess we'll have to leave on our own two feet. Countdown in progress. T minus 18 minutes. Make a run for the exit. We need to get the hell out of here before we're blown sky high. Uh, I just want the chest. Alright. We're gonna heal, and we're gonna- Oh, I can't save. Won't let me save during this part. Okay. I think 18 minutes is plenty of time. Unless we're gonna get into another boss battle. Uh, I'm just gonna run, because... Because I feel like... We just need to get the fuck out of here. So, we're just gonna run past all these guys. 
Uh, up and over, okay. Come on. Holy shit. Yeah, no thank you. I just want to get out of here. Those guys are pretty fucking strong, so I don't really want to deal with them. I wonder if there's a bonus for getting out really quick. The exit's up ahead. Keep running, even after we're out of here. All right, so it doesn't look like really uh, like rem remembered too much. I wanted to start having abilities. Come in, Charles de Gaulle. Do you read me? Loud and clear. This is the Charles de Gaulle. Transport the five of us out of here before this explosion does it for us. <laughs> right away, sir. I was gonna try to get that chest before it happened, but at least we have fast travel now. At least we have fast travel now. Hopefully Miki's uh, up and about now. Damn. That was an explosion. I'm so glad everyone's okay. On the other hand, all our leads have gone up in flames. They're burnt or black and stuff. What sort of research was going on at that facility anyway? We haven't analyzed the documents yet, so all I can do is speculate as to the building's purpose. But I assume it belonged to a group called Kronos. Kronos? That's their name. That dude walked in That's and then walked story. out right away. So let me tell it while we're en route to Sitvec. Hey, really? Yeah. All right. Give it a save save now. Hopefully Miki's back. How much money do I have after that? Wow, you get a lot of money from fighting. You really do. It's not like chests over here, is there? I didn't look. Well, at least we have fast travel now. That will make traversing so much easier and getting items and doing quests. Deck 12, sick bay. We're with an organization called the Pan-Galactic Federation, and come from far away in the sky. <laughs> if we hadn't already experienced what we have with you, I'd say you're telling the biggest whopper ever. When you look up at the sky, you can see a lot of lights, right? Well, we're from one of those astral lights, as is Kronos, albeit a different one. To people far, far away, your home is also an astral light. And we have termed your particular orb of light, Bay Creed Four. The Pan-Galactic Federation and Kronos signed a charter that forbids either party from entering the other's territory or the neutral zone between them. Okay. And they broke it. We obtained information stating that Kronos was clandestinely operating on Fake Creed 4. And when we came to investigate, well, you know. I understand that you guys and Kronos are enemies, but do you mind explaining what all this has to do with Relia? Little Miss Starlight was living in that laboratory of theirs. Really is most likely a living test subject for some of Kronos's experiments. And sorry. That was uncalled for. A test subject. All for the sake of creating signets. This is now far beyond the realm of simply trying to reunite a young runaway girl with her parents. Her parents might be dead. I want to take a look around, see if there's any uh, chests in these areas. There could be. They have a lot of sick bays. I mean, can't say they're not prepared. Mickey. Hey, she's back. I didn't mean for you to get hurt. This is all my fault. Sorry. You don't say sorry in this situation, Relia. You say thank you. Oh, thank you, Miki. 
You're very welcome. D doesn't make any sense. You're okay. You're here, Fiddly. Emerson and Anne are the ones who saved you. If they hadn't been around, we wouldn't have been able to do anything for you. <sighs> That's what I heard from the people here. Thank you so very much. Don't thank us. It's our fault in the first place. I have something I need to say. We want Relia to stay in our custody. What? Where'd you get that crazy idea? She's being chased by an organization called Kronos. As for who they are and how they relate to us, ask Fidel. He knows already. How does any of that matter in the least? You've seen firsthand how persistent those reprobates can be. Yeah, really is so very persistent. That they're willing to go through all of this for her. And now that they've failed multiple times, they'll start taking even more drastic measures. But still... Kronos possesses nearly the same level of technology that we do. As long as they think the ends justify the means, you won't be able to stop them from taking her. We, however, can. Furthermore, your country will no longer be attacked if we have her. Yeah, just the Federation will be attacked. I want to stay here. That's Can probably I? a good idea. Promise you'll take care of her? With all my heart. Then I leave her in your charge. Let's get you home. I mean, honestly, it's probably the best of ideas. Return to Emerson. Oh, what? No, fast travel's gone. Mm. All right, well, fuck that, I guess. We are very grateful to have met the both of you. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Just wait until my technological discoveries surpass even yours. Please see that no harm comes to Relia. I didn't we buy know. new shit. You take care down there. All the best. I didn't buy her the stuff. Relia, you take care of yourself. Miki. Grab happiness by the horn. Oh well. She'll get new stuff eventually. Bye -bye, so long. Toodaloo. Miki. Fidel. I mean, I guess she'll get better stuff eventually, but my god. Man. So now all everybody's out. Even Fior? Fuck, it's just me and Miki again. I'm very sorry, but you're not allowed to be here. Captain, our sensors have detected abnormal energy disturbances. The possibility that they're caused by mechanical activity as opposed to a natural phenomenon is 87.32%. What do you make of it? My guess is Chrono's cloaking technology. Use impulse engines to change our trajectory. Enable our shields as well. We're going on red alert. Engine output reduced by half. Modifying course. Now raising shields to 80% Omni. We're currently at 30%, sir. Everyone assume battle station. Oh, shit. Tactical display on screen. Enemy starboard. Engines to full power. Raise shields to 100%. Starboard side hit. Shields operating at 97%. Loading of enemy torpedoes confirmed. And any info on the torpedoes? Uh, wow. Nothing at the moment. So that's what she looks like in her uniform. Change course to 90 Mark 45. We're going to their port side. Current speed at 0 0.87. We're approximately three minutes from Fake Creed 5. The enemy has launched eight torpedoes our way, all proceeding at course 360. Another eight torpedoes incoming. Following course 50, mark 270. Employing Hadian tactics, I see. Looks like someone in Kronos knows his way around a Starfleet battle. Yeah. Enemy phase cannon fire has been detected. Phase cannon beam impact 135 degrees to starboard. Shields now at 94%. Those are some strong shields. All right. We're going to have to let a couple of torpedoes through. I guess all we can do is pray theirs don't pack too much of a punch. Load four photon torpedoes. 
Set the first to slow, put it on a course for the flagship's eight torpedoes. Set the second one for slow as well and aim it at the second round of torpedoes. Prepped and ready. Great. Fire rounds one and two. Firing rounds one and two. Five seconds until contact. Too bad we can't see the action Three, outside. Two. One. Zero. Ten enemy torpedoes still remain. There shouldn't be anywhere near that many. Who knew their AI was that good? Five seconds until contact. Three, two, Everyone, one. brace for impact. Damage report. We sustained damage from two torpedoes. Shields reduced to 57%. Well, that ain't bad. Warp drive is operational. All that damage from two measly torpedoes? Yakagi evaded all torpedoes. The Nimitz took one hit that reduced its shields to 34%. Its warp drive has sustained heavy damage. Now only its impulse engines remain operable. Even if they're top of the line, our ships are still mainly research vessels. They don't stand a snowball's chance in hell against three battle cruisers. Transmission from really? the flagship. Why'd they send out a research vessel? Before we open communication, shut down our warp drive. Captain, you can't be serious. Yeah, you can't be. Now. What the fuck? Aye, aye, sir. Initiating emergency warp drive shutdown. Shields at five percent. Okay, now bring them up on screen. This is Captain Aaron of the Kronos Interstellar Army ship. Nice hair, Kronos. dude. Emerson T. Kenny, captain of the Federation vessel Charles D. Gold. Kenny, you say? Well, well, what an honor it is to meet a gentleman as influential as you. A shame I can't see your face with all that egg of defeat smeared on it. Thanks for the concern. I believe you know what we came here for. Which is yours. Captain! But in return, I'd like a favor. What's that? The warp drives of this and another of our ships took a great deal of damage. Enough to render interstellar navigation impossible. I ask you to please let us leave this sector on the one ship with a fully functional warp drive. Run a scan. The warp drives for their first and third ships are indeed down. I'll permit the other ship's crews to go. I regret to inform you, however, that yours will have to stay behind. That's fine with me, but how should we handle the exchange? Your crew will transport over to my ship, starting with you. Then we'll start moving within transport range of your vessel. Fret not, for we shall do the moving. All you need do is lower your shields and wait until we are in range and contact you again. Son of a Don't bitch. Funny in the meantime. How far away is the enemy from us? We are approximately 0 0.34 AU away from the Derivolos, sir. That's 10 minutes at quarter speed or five at half. The crew of the Nimitz is to board the Akagi at once, using any means necessary. Yes, sir. Once everyone's boarded, the Akagi is to warp out as soon as possible and head for remote Station 5. What of the Charles D. Gold's crew? We'll use escape pods and land on Creed 5. Send someone later to pick us up. The Daravolos and the rest of its fleet have begun moving toward our vessel at quarter speed, Captain. Ten minutes, forty-seven seconds until they're within range. Open a comm link to the whole ship. I don't know why they just didn't warp out. You're on. Attention, all crew members. You will now begin boarding the nearest escape pod and prepare to abandon ship. Do not eject, however, until I give the command. That is all. Captain, you wouldn't be... Took you long enough. You should have realized his intention when he cut power to the warp drive. This is our only option. Will you help? Everyone but Anne and Delacroix board an escape pod. Computer, bring up the self-destruct sequence set. Oh, shit. Access to the self-destruct sequence requires the authorization of at least three Federation officers. In addition... Nix the briefing. Emerson T. Kenny of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Rank, Captain. Authorized. Tiffin Delacroix of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Rank, Lieutenant Commander. Authorized. So let me get this straight. In addition to violating the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact, we're going to add another federal offense to our rap sheets. Why not? It's our only choice. It is. Just do it, Anne. Anne Patriciani of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Rank, Lieutenant. 
Identity confirmed. Access to self-destruct sequence settings granted. I want a 12-minute silent countdown for a warp drive overload sequence. The sequence code is Alpha, Tango, Quebec, Zulu, 4915. Direct the blast this way. Settings applied. Command I don't know if this is going to work. Initiate with another code needed to disarm. Start it. Delacroix, get to an escape pod. Anne, get little Miss Starlight and come with me. Yes, yes sir. They're all yours now. May the goddess of victory smile upon us. Man, that ship. That was gonna be our fat. Oh, we're control. Oh, we're controlling her. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe they'll let us buy something before we leave. Deck one, cargo bay. First, synchronize the launch of the escape pods so it occurs right before we transport. Make sure one shuttle launches along with them too. I'll also need you to set the launch angle of both the pods and the shuttle to 180 degrees from the chrono sweep. Will do. Next, have it look like we and Relia will transport to the Daravolos. But actually transport us to the shuttle. Transport us to a fast moving object? Impossible. Have no, it's the not. shuttle break right before we transport, so it slows down enough to stabilize its coordinates. We should still be able to escape as long as we accelerate afterwards. Uh, that's theoretically possible, but with your programming skills, Anne, I know you're able to turn theory into reality. You're the only one who can make this work. I'll try my best to get us through this somehow. You're not I'm gonna sure try. you will. You're gonna do. Yeah, you're gonna do. If the shuttle's too fast, we'll materialize in outer space. But if we slow it down too much, we'll get caught in the blast and completely disintegrate along with the enemy ships. For the love of just how many miracles do we need here? Uh five. Not a single one of these obstacles is too much for us to overcome by ourselves. Leave everything to me, kiddo. I'll keep you safe and sound. Like Fidel did? Yes, exactly like Fidel did. I'm finished. That was fast. I knew you'd be done in no time. Thanks for the compliments, sir. Now, let's hurry to the transport room. Yeah, considering uh, this whole ride probably took 12 minutes, we'd be dead by now. Deck two, transport room. Kenny to the Akagi. Yes? How are things coming? Done in six minutes. Do it in four or you'll be cosmic dust. I'll make sure they do, sir. I won't be able to give any further commands. So figure out the timing and warp out at your own discretion. Time to show us what you're made of and reprogram the transporter, Anne. Have it display coordinates that are in the Daravolos, but set the real ones to inside the shuttle. I know what to do. All right. The shops are not open. Damn it. All right. Oh, I can save? Hell yeah. Let's save before we do this. Ah, fuck it. We'll do a new save. All right, let's see how well this goes. We have an incoming transmission from the Darivolos. Bring it up. Have you yet to finish your preparations, Captain Kenny? Our ship is now within the established 30,000 click secure transport radius. You may begin transport now. I know, I know. Sadly, we don't have sufficient energy to do that. I request permission to engage warp drive. Don't even think of raising your shields. We won't. Your warp drive is on and your transport coordinates are indeed correct. Now send us our test subject. 
We'll be right over in a mere 20 seconds. Captain Aaron, we've determined that escape pods are launching from the Charles de Gaulle. You what? What in the hell is going Eight. on? Seven. What are you filthy Six. swine perpetrating? Five. Answer me, Kenny. He's not on a transport pod, though. Three. Does it work in the center? Two. One. Okay, it does work in the center. Okay, good. Uh, okay, she's behind him. I was like, where is Anne? Good work, Anne. Warp 1.1. Let's head to Fake Read 4. There's the explosion. Too bad we couldn't see it. That would have been amazing to see. The Charles D. Cole. There's the aftermath. We made it without a single scratch, thanks to your awareness and acuity, sir. Sleep tight, old friend. Yeah, an explosion that big, you'd be able to see. Captain, just so you know, the shuttle has now officially been cloaked. Thanks for the update. Except for the smoke that's coming from Heading it. to the Akagi. Do you read me? I do. Loud and clear. Whew. I'm glad you guys are okay. Our sentiments exactly, Captain. I'm also pleased to report we're safely on our way to remote station 5. That's great news. We lack adequate power for subspace transmissions, and we're about to lose our signal. So let me say one thing first. We've already filed a request with the aforementioned base to mobilize a rescue squad. They're scheduled to arrive in a few days. Oh, that's good. While you're at it, put in a request for you know what. You don't mean the Model T, do you? That's ludicrous. They'll never approve that. It hasn't undergone a single test flight. Oh. Make the request. New ship. Uh, I suppose it can't hurt to ask. Oh, and there's something of the utmost import I need to discuss. And we're cut. I don't understand why you wouldn't say the most important thing first if you were about to go out of range. I think he would have if you hadn't made that demand. Well, there's no use thinking about what might have been. We should probably lay low somewhere until the rescue team from Remote Station 5 comes. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Really? It can't be. She's transporting. Oh, fuck. How could I be so careless as to overlook the transport tracker? What an elementary mistake. One of the three ships apparently got their shields up in time, I see. Mm. Unlike the Darivolos, the other two ships might have already had them up in case of an emergency. Even if we weren't on the bridge, I should have looked over the data more thoroughly. God damn it. Still, they should have sustained a decent amount of damage from the overload. I doubt they'll be able to warp out of this sector anytime soon. Maybe so. But we can't do anything without our own ship. Son of a bitch. Oh, everybody's in? Okay. Surprise. I was gonna say, did it freeze on me? You say those gleaming sticks came from this so-called Kronos. I find this quite difficult to believe. I saw it with my own two eyes. How's the front line? The troops with the gleaming sticks supposedly vanished right after we did. Once the Trikurans were deprived of their secret weapon, they were no longer a match for our military strength. So you held them off? We did. And now ah, plan is controller. in motion to invade Eastern Trekur. If it goes well, they will be forced to retreat from our border. Speaking of Eastern Trekur, I was just about to head there. 
Allow me to take part in the invasion with you. Take part? I assume they would want me to come along as a reinforcement anyway. Vasuli is our homeland, and Fiori is a good friend. So I have more than enough reasons to fight, too. Very well, then. I doubt anyone will oppose the addition. Uh, I know that we're in, like, mid-sentence, but we need to... Put the stuff that's supposed to be on her... On her. Can we learn any new ones? No. Um, so... Oh, Victor doesn't have any right now. I mean, I guess I could put... Oh, let's see. Put this on him. Everybody's got full for right now, so. That reserves. I'll let my superiors know. Thank you. The faster we can join everyone, the better. Therefore, let's make for Eastern Trekur post haste. I'll give you the details on the way. All right. Well, there's somewhere I want to go first. I want to go hand in this quest. quest I got to hand in so I can get something else. Oh shit. Our strategy for this battle requires us to split our army in two. Master Camus will command the main force, which will charge head on at the enemy, overwhelming them with numbers and distracting them. <laughs> I figured as much. Our detachment will infiltrate the Kingdom of Trekur by passing through the Western Dakov Tunnel. This will put us on the other side of the Imperial troops in Eastern Trekur, allowing us to attack from behind. Okay. Okay. To reach the tunnel, we must venture beyond Sword of View until we come to a fork in the road. All right. Then we head southwest. Mobility right. will be of the utmost importance in arriving at our objective. Therefore, we will move in small units. We are to rendezvous with the other detachment members at Eastern Trekur. I would rather not be the last ones there, so let us make haste. Sounds like a plan. So I'm guessing I'm not allowed to go, like, anywhere right now. Well, first things first, I should check the notice board. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I just wanted to see. What is this one? No. Oh. Oh, there's so many. Let's see. Let's go ahead and save it. I'll see if I can go back to that one town before I do anything. So apparently Ruddle went back to... Um, uh, okay, yeah. Tell me where. Oh, 
come on, just tell me where the fuck. So, he went back there. But we're, we're gonna go back there right now because we need a hand in a quest. See if we can unlock some more specialties. Well, let's do this. Okay, then. Let's reconvene in front of the inn. Okay, there is one. Well, if it isn't Victor, did you come here looking for me? No. I'm just passing through. Then this must be fate. Draw your sword. What do you mean, fate? Uh, actually, I was injured in the last sortie. <laughs> we'll have to put this duel on hold for a while. Then why did you propose a duel in the first place? As he's an asshole. <clears throat> we'll also take a look at the weapons before we go on. Uh, see if there's we can get her some better stuff, considering we missed out on her getting stuff. I think this is better anyway. So I didn't need to buy that sword at all. I would have gotten a much better one. What a fucking waste of money, I guess. Man, what a waste of money that I spent on that. Well, she actually, she can... Eh, we'll fuck, just fucking get it for her. I don't care. We, we'll get a lot of money, so it's no big deal. That would work for him, so we're going to get it for him. Let's see. Wow, we are literally... Alright, well, she definitely needs this. You not so much. My god, we are out of money now. <laughs> I mean, I could just sell money. I, yeah, sell money. I could sell my items for money, but... Holy shit. So buying that stuff was a waste of fucking money. I know I have to go that way, but I want to go back to Miyadoc first. Now, everybody, I did equip the new... Okay. It really just made it seem like I didn't. Where was the other one that I gave her? I think it was this one. Let's put that on him. Oh, it sucks we don't have fast travel. Oh, these guys are different colors. Yep, they are much stronger. Oh, I want to check something. Uh, skills. War, okay. See, I don't know. Hmm. 
I think I'll just keep it the way it is right now. Is that thing back on the map? Oh, I can't view the map when I'm in battle. Because if that thing is back on the map, I think I'll go back to it. I may have missed my chance to do that, though. Yeah, it's not on the map anymore. Unlocked a new role. Oh, Guardian. Huh. Let's go ahead and learn it. And let's see if we can put it on somebody. Hmm. There's really nobody to put it on right now. I guess I'll just wait. I wish I had fast travel, I really do. Another trial. Oh! Done here. I guess I learned another role. That must have been what that was. Shrewd Overseer. Ooh, MP cost minus 15. I mean, clearly I need to put that on Fior. Let's take this one out. We'll put that on. Luckily, I can just upgrade those at any time, which is really nice. I really like that I can just upgrade those. What I really like about this game is the the amount of customize uh, the the customizability of the skills and everything. As long as you use the SP towards it, you can level it up, which I think is really nice. All right, let's go hand in this quest. I wonder if I could have fast traveled here when I had the communicator before. Let's see if there's any private actions first before we go ahead and do this. Okay then, let's reconvene in front of the inn. You don't have to tell me, I get it. I shouldn't be wasting my time trying to be a gourmand. I mean, after seeing all these battles firsthand, it's just... I don't think it's a waste. I don't think it's a waste at all. Having a hobby is a great thing. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. If only I wasn't so hungry all the time. I need to keep my stomach in check. All right. So, wait. Oh, you 
you serious? Where the fuck is this guy? It just it just loops me around. He's got to be somewhere specific because it just loops me around everywhere. All right, got the items. Well, I got the five pies. Come on, there we go. It's like, where is it? Where is it going? Well, well, nice job finding this. I'll feed it to the bunny right away. Oh, it's for the bunny? It worked. This is it. Creativity crystallized. What? Where did it come from, you ask? Well, don't. Just consider it one of those profound questions of life we were never meant to answer. All right. Just realize that thanks to this phenomenon, now we can create items with any materials we want to, anywhere and at any time. Aren't I a genius? Are you for real? Because of this bunny breakthrough, I won't have to bother thinking up new inventions anymore. Isn't that great? Unlock the bunny roll. Okay. Selecting multiple items in your inventory and combining them to create different ones is called synthesis. Although it is convenient specialty to have, it does have a downside. You'll never know what ex exactly what the resulting item will be until it has actually been made. Okay. You can perform synthesis on the synthetic screen. Yeah, found in the creation. You will not be able to use many materials at first. The item resulting from this will differ depending on the number of type of materials used. I wonder if I could create like really good weapons now. Different item combinations will occasionally produce either stronger or weaker versions of the same piece of equipment. Thus, if you want to synthesize a particularly effective piece of equipment, it is in your best interest to find the optimal combination for each one. Ooh. Okay. Thousand for the next one. Oh, that's funny. All right, well, let's see if you give me anything else. When I'm done streaming, I'll have to look up to see like what the best combinations are and see if I can make anything really good right now. Talk. All right, I guess. I guess that's it for now. I'm going to fucking look up Ruddle real quick and see where the fuck he is. Because all, all it does is lead me in a circle when I do the quest. Uh, Ruddle. Where the fuck is Ruddle? Yeah, where is he? Oh, is that what happened? I didn't do the star ones first. Okay, so I had to trigger. So I had to talk to the ones 
in the end first and then here and then stall all right well I didn't do that initially apparently it has to be done in order so we're just gonna I talked to all the star people over there I'll talk to the star people here hey are you all right oh sorry huh? I was deep in concentration on what exactly on memorizing all the tenets of basic signaturgical theory Whew. if you want to stay sharp you have to keep using your brain ergo I was performing a bit of mental maintenance so study and fighting are the same in that respect all right so we talked to the two star people here I should save it. Should we rest? Yeah, we should probably rest too. Now I have to go to stall. I can't believe that just because I didn't talk to the people at the end first. Damn it. Just let me rest. All right. This one. God damn it. I hate when it's always on no first. All right. So I'm probably going to skip a lot of battles here just so I can get back to stall real quick. Because this is the shorter of the two ways. I mean, is it really, though? Yeah, I think it is. Man, fast travel would be real nice. All right, I guess you guys want to die. Wow, he died. Could have been worse, I guess. Unlocked another roll. Oh my God, we're just popping off rolls. Bunny. Raises escape speed. I'll learn it. Still got a long way to go. I mean, I'm sorry. There should be fast travel by now. There really should be. Hopefully it'll be soon. Yeah, take that, you little fuck. Damn it. Fucking tumbler over here. Since this is a pretty straight shot from here, I think I'll just run past everything. Except those are new. I'll fight these. Take advantage of this. Let's get yeah. off. guys are strong. Alright, 
Alright. We just need to make it the stall. Can't believe we have to do this in some sort of an order. Pain in the ass. Hey, babe. I'll just save it here. I'll try to run by all the enemies here, but some of them are going to be impossible to do. It's ways quicker. Yeah. Kamehameha, bitch! Oh, that wasn't the Kamehameha. Another try. A warrior must continue to hone his skills. I mean, at least this still is the quickest way, but... I, I went the wrong way. My bad. All right, well, I might as well do some fishing. A decisive win with minimal casualties. Oh, we snuck by that one. I think it's the middle one. No, it's actually this one right here. We're almost there. Man, if it wasn't for the healer, we'd be fucked. Only because it's so. The enemies hit so hard. Got some basil. Might as well save it. Who knows what's going to happen. Now we did talk to those other guys first. And then we talked to them here, there. So when we get back to the main capital. After we talk to these guys. Ruddle should be there. I think as long as you get to this part here and stall and talk to them, I feel like that should be... That should be the f the best thing, like seriously. As long as you get to this part, it should activate Ruddle being back. Can't believe we had to run all the way here just for this. Now we gotta run all the way back. Pardon me. Let's see what kind of private actions we have here. Oh wow, three of them. for someone to be as bad at games as you. Oh, come on. I'm not that bad. Your face is easier to read than a smoke signal. Anyone could beat you. 
Does that mean people can tell what I'm thinking even when I'm not playing games? Oh no! Ah oh, well, I wouldn't sweat it too much. It just means you're real. Plain and simple. That's just the way you are, Miki. Whoa, hold it right there. What do you mean by that? Uh oh. Alright. There's one over here. Hey kitty. Can I ask you something? If you had a child, and if that child said that he didn't like spinach, what would you do? Is there something you're not telling us? Purely hypothetical. Uh, he'll grow out of it. Pretty sure he'll learn to eat it when he grows up, like most people do. So you're saying that growing up and still being unable to eat it is something to be ashamed of? It's a bit childish, for sure. Exactly. What kind of adult can't even eat spinach? Wouldn't that be silly? Sounds like he doesn't like spinach. I guess he never saw Popeye as a kid. Doesn't know what spinach can do for you. Whoops. What do you think of children who are selfish? Uh... I mean, is it is ine inevitable to an extent. Even like the best kid is still selfish at some point. You don't want to constantly indulge them, but as an adult, you have to grin and bear it sometimes. That's how kids are. I agree. It's only natural for them to be selfish at that age, and yet really, uh... Not only that, but she keeps everything bottled up inside. It's not enough to just protect her physically. It's also our responsibility to protect her emotionally. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll rest and save it here, and then we'll fucking make our way back. Because holy shit. Walk here, just talk to people. I can't believe I fucked that quest line up just because I didn't talk to two, uh, three people at the inn. Oh well. Bit of a detour, but... It happens. Oh, we got a little bunny in here now. Alright, I don't know where, I don't know where you came from, but... I mean, really, we should have fast travel to all these places that we've been to already. We had it there for a split second. I wonder if I could have done all the stuff there. Oh well, we won't. We won't know. We won't know. Sorry. All right now, we just gotta run back. Hopefully, we won't need to get into too many battles. I'll try to avoid as many as possible so we can get back to what we were doing. I'm not going to worry about going to Fiora's homeland right now because that's just too far away. That's definitely something I'll do when we have fast travel or we just go back there for some reason. Yeah. It looks like I'm gaining on my father. So oh, Miki's feeling the power. They missed. Nice. Oh, 
Ah, damn it. Alright, well. I knew that that one was going to be hard to bypass. As close to perfect as it gets. There we go. All right, now we just need to make it across the plains, and then we need to find Ruddle. According to what I looked up, he should be by the shops, either at the at the south or the west. Didn't really specify, just said by the shops. I can't believe that thing here, like, disappeared, that blue thing. That kind of sucks. I wanted to get revenge. But it's just not there. Oh, it's back! Um. All right, let's go do it. Is it only during a certain time of day? I hope it's the same strength as before. Because if it's stronger than it was before, that could be a problem. Well, we're going in anyway. I wonder if it's only during a certain time of day that these pop out. All right, let's do it. I last saved at the at stall, so if uh. If this turns out bad, we're going to be walking a little bit. I don't think it will, though. I think it'll be the same. I feel like these won't evolve. Yeah, these are the same guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This will be no big deal. Finally gonna get the revenge. I don't know why sometimes it does double slash when I do the other one. I don't know why that happens. Like there's a lot of times that it just does double slash even though Maybe because I'm holding circle to run? Maybe. This be a good warm -up. No, but did double slash right there, and I did not do it. I just don't know why it sometimes does double slash. Uh, Basil does it. I want to unparalyze him. Because I don't know if in this one, if they're paralyzed, they don't get any experience. Oh, never mind. He was already dead. Hey! Just want to leave you a little something for Christmas. Well, thank you for the 1,500 bits. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just trying to get up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Got, gave me a holiday gift, too. As a bonus. Hope you had a really good holiday. I did. 
I did very much. Green Talisman. Again, thank you for the bits. I really do appreciate it very much. All right. I wonder if Dose come back at all. That'd be interesting. Yeah, the they have the channel points now where you can unlock emotes. It, it, it is nice. I hope that they do more with it. I mean, I know that they just came out with it and everything, but I really hope that it evolves because there's just so much that you could do with channel points. It'd be so much fun. It's just really good for viewer interactivity. It really is. All right, Ruddle, you better be here, you fuck, because I ran around the whole place twice to find you, because I apparently did in the wrong order. So, you better be here. Well, he's not here. He better be at the other place. From what I looked up, he should be by the shops. Ah, there he is. Oh, Ruddle. I am... I don't... I don't like you. You made me traverse the world twice. Yes. Yes, it, it couldn't have been easy because I had to traverse twice, you prick. So, I guess I just have to go back to the inn? Okay. Pardon me. Should I just do it? Can I do it at the notice board? Maybe I can do it at the notice board. Yeah, finally, Ruddle found your ass. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Deliver a crystal, sheets of silk, and two pieces of dwarf. Oh my god. Uh, fluffy. F oh my god. Seven pieces of coal. All right. Well. A warrior must continue to hone his skills. Okay, what is that role? Um, gain SP, not experience at 1%. Well, that sucks. I mean, that would actually be good at some point. I mean, I will learn it, but... That kind of that kind of sucks. All right, let's let's see if there's any new. Okay then, let's reconvene in front of the inn. Any new? Oh, there are more. Okay. Did Master Camus instruct you in the ways of the sword too? No, we often exercise together at the training hall, but I never actually learned how to use the sword. I've always been more interested in signaturgy, most likely because of my mother. Oh. Was your mother a signatory? Yes. She died when I was still a small child, however, so I only learned about her past secondhand. Sorry. It must be difficult for you to talk about this. No, it's all right. I remember tripping and hurting myself, and my mother comforting me until it got better. I also remember being mystified by this, but it also made me very happy. All right, cool. Let's see, what are we, okay. We should definitely rest before we move on and save. At least we got most of our money back from that little 
uh, journey that we just took. Of course, it's 300 here. Alright. Save! Alright, now we can actually move on. Because we have to go... This way, yeah. Sorry. Whoops. Whoops. All right. Yeah, we have to go to the Western Dakob Tunnel. Yeah, that's what we have to do. still like to know how I get keys for those chests. I would really like to know. Alright, well, I wasn't going to fight these ones, but... There we go. That was a piece of cake. Don't take me so lightly. A decisive win with minimal casualties. I just kind of want to get there because I wasted so much time going back and forth there. But it was for a quest. Once we're beyond sort of you, we should head southwest to find the Western Dakar Tunnel. Do 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 do. All right. So this should be a new area for us. I don't think we've been this way. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's not that big of a tunnel. All right. Um, guess it really doesn't matter which way I go. I'm still gonna traverse everything, so. Got him. That's all you got? Could have been worse, oh, I guess. Oh. I guess we learned something. Uh do, 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 do. Ooh. Sharpshooter and pulverizer. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I'll learn them, but we need more people to like put all this stuff on. All 
All right, so here, I wonder if I could jump down from here. Oh, I can't jump down from here? That sucks. I guess I could go around, do a loop. I think that would be more efficient. Alright, um, I'm gonna have to get going after this battle. Something has, uh, has come up. And, uh, I need to look into it. So, so yeah. I'm just gonna leave here and save. And then I'm going to have to end the stream for today, sadly. All right, let's go and give it a save. All right. While we're saving, I'm going to say uh, um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope everybody enjoyed. I wanted to go a little bit longer, but something came up. And uh, I'm going to have to go. If you watch this on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you ever want to catch a live stream, my stream schedule will be in the description below. If you want to come hang out and watch the games live. But again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope everybody has a good rest of their day and or night wherever you live in the world. And I will see everybody on the next stream.